Welcome to our next video. In this lecture, we will learn how to find the unit digit and the last two digits of any number or expression. So what do we mean by unit digit? The unit digit is the digit at the unit's place of a number. For example, in the number 54128, 8 is the unit digit. When numbers are written like this, we can simply look at the number and find its unit digit. But what if we need to find the unit digit of a number which is given as the product? Let's say a product of 234 into 5797 into 2019. Do we first need to find the value of the product and then find the unit's digit? The answer, I am sure much to your relief, is no. To find the unit digit of product of any numbers, let's say numbers A and B, we only consider the unit digits of A and B. So in our example, we only need to consider the unit digits of 234, 5797 and 2019. The unit digit of 234 is 4, of 5797 is 7 and of 2019 is 9. So the unit digit of the product of 234 with 5797 and 2019 is the unit digit of the product 4 into 7 into 9. 4 into 7 is equal to 28. We again ignore 2. So we have 8 into 9 which gives us 72. This time we ignore 7 to get the unit digit as 2. Similarly, to find the unit digit of 451 into 8745 into 967 into 786, we consider only the unit digits which are 1, 5, 7 and 6. 1 into 5 gives us 5, 5 into 7 gives us 35 which again gives us 5 as the unit digit, then 5 into 6 gives us 30 which gives us 0 as the unit digit. So how do we find the unit digit of 374 raised to the power 251? 374 raised to the power 251 is equal to 374 into 374 into 374 multiplied 251 times. The first thing that we already know is that we need to consider only the unit digit of 374. That is, we only need to keep 4 and we can throw away 3 and 7. So we need to find only the unit digit of 4 raised to the power 251. To find the unit digit of a number of a form n raised to the power p, where n and p are natural numbers, we only consider the unit digit of the number n. This means that we will only encounter cases where we will have to find the unit digit of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 raised to some power. Now take a look at the following table. As you can see from the table, the unit digit of 1, 5 or 6 raised to any power is always 1, 5 and 6 respectively. You can see that 1 raised to the power 5 is also 1, 1 raised to the power 8 is also 1. Similarly, 5 raised to any power is always 5 and 6 raised to any power is always 6. For other numbers, the unit digit repeats after a cycle of 4. For example, for 2, the unit digit cycle is 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6 and so on. 2 raised to the power 1 is 2, 2 raised to the power 2 is 4, 2 raised to the power 3 is 8, 2 raised to the power gives a unit digit of 6, then the cycle repeats. 2 raised to the power 5 gives unit digit as 2, 2 raised to the power 6 gives unit digit as 4, and so on. For 3, the cycle is 3971, 3971, and so on. Of course, for 4 and 9, the cyclicity is 2. But instead of learning the rules separately for them, let's learn a general rule with a cyclicity of 4. 
as the unit digit repeats in a cycle of 4, we simply divide the power by 4. That is, if we need to find the unit digit of a raised to the power b, we divide b by 4. Let the remainder of the division be r. Then instead of finding the unit digit of a raised to the power b, we find the unit digit of a raised to the power r. The answer in the two cases will be the same. Note that r can either be 0, 1, 2 or 3 and hence finding the unit digit becomes very easy. To repeat, the unit digit of a raised to the power b is equal to the unit digit of a raised to the power r, where r is the remainder when b is divided by 4. For example, let's say we need to find the unit digit of 57 raised to the power 33. Then first of all, ignore 5. We simply need to find the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 33. Divide 33 by 4. The remainder r is 1, right? So we need to find the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 1, which is equal to 7, right? So the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 33 is 7 or 57 raised to the power 33 is 7. Let's do another example. Let's find the unit digit of 243 raised to the power 51. Again, we ignore 24. You know, we don't need 2 and 4. We simply find the unit digit of 3 raised to the power 51. Now divide 51 by 4. It gives us a remainder of 3. So we need to find the unit digit of 3 raised to the power 3, which is 7. But for r is equal to 0, we adopt a slightly different strategy. In case the division does not leave any remainder, we assume the remainder to be 4 and then find the unit digit. To summarize, if we get a remainder of 1, 2 or 3, we solve it using that value of r. If the remainder is 0, we use r as 4. Or from the table, you may observe that even numbers 2, 4, 6 and 8, whenever raised to the power of 4, gives unit digit 6. Similarly, odd numbers 3, 7 and 9, when raised to power of 4, give unit digit as 1s. So in case r is 0, if the number is even, then the unit digit is 6. If the number is odd, except 5. If the number is 3, 7 or 9 and the remainder is 0, the unit digit is 1. For example, 254 raised to the power 24 is equal to 4 raised to the power of 124. 124 is divisible by 4, so it is basically 4 raised to the power of 4, which gives the unit digit as 6. Or 124 is divisible by 4, so it is 4 raised to the power of 4 and even numbers when raised to the power of 4 give unit digit as 6 always. So the answer is 6. Let's do another example. Let's find the last digit of 51 into 52 into 53 into 54 and so on till 59. Now the unit digit will be the same as the unit digit of 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9. Now we know that 2 into 5 will give the last digit as 0, right? 2 into 5 makes 10, which gives the last digit as 0. And any other multiplication now will not change the last digit. The last digit will always be 0 now. Let's say 3 when multiplied by 0 will give the unit digit as 0. 7 multiplied by 0 will again be 0, so the last digit is always going to be 0 now. Let's do another example. Let's find the unit digit of 25 raised to the power 885 plus 23 raised to the power 4610 plus 82 raised to the power 1273. Now 25 raised to the power 885 has a unit digit of 5, right? It is basically 5 raised to the power 885 and 5 raised to the power any power gives the unit digit as 5. 23 raised to the power 4610 has the same unit digit as 3 raised to the power 4610, which is the same as 3 raised to the power 2, which has the unit digit 9. Now let me give you a small tip here. 
instead of dividing the whole power by 4, we simply divide the last two digits of the power by 4. For example, here instead of dividing 4610 by 4, we just divide 10 by 4, right? And we get a remainder of 2. This is because of the divisibility rule of 4, which we have already studied and I hope you remember. 82 raised to the power 1273 has a unit digit of 2 raised to the power 1273. 73 when it is divided by 4 leaves a remainder of 1. So, 2 raised to the power 1273 is the same as 2 raised to the power of 1, which gives a unit digit of 2. So, 25 raised to the power 885 plus 23 raised to the power 4610 plus 82 raised to the power 1273 has a unit digit of 5 plus 9 plus 2 which is basically 16, which means a unit digit of 6. Now let's move on to another example. Find the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 11 raised to the power 13 raised to the power of 17. Now this is a slightly more complicated problem. We know that unit digit of 7 repeats in a cycle of 4. So if we can somehow write 11 raised to the power 13 raised to the power 17 in the form of 4k plus r, we can solve this question, right? That is what we have studied till now. What this means is that we need to find the remainder when 11 raised to the power 13 raised to the power 17 is divided by 4. If we can find the remainder when 11 raised to the power 13 raised to the power 17 is divided by 4, we can write it in the form of 4k plus r and then we can solve this question. Now 11 when divided by 4 leaves a remainder of minus 1. So 11 raised to the power 13 raised to the power 17 when divided by 4 leaves a remainder of minus 1 raised to the power 13 raised to the power of 17. Now if 13 raised to the power 17 is even, the remainder will be plus 1. If 13 raised to the power 17 is odd, the remainder will be minus 1, right? Now 13 raised to the power 17 will give a unit digit of 3 raised to the power 1, right? Divide 17 by 4, which gives a remainder of 1. So 13 raised to the power 17 will give a unit digit of 3. Now 3 is odd, the unit digit is odd. So 13 raised to the power 17 is an odd number. So minus 1 raised to the power 13 raised to the power 17 is basically minus 1. So the remainder when 11 raised to the power 13 raised to the power 17 is divided by 4 is minus 1, which is equivalent to plus 3. Hence the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 11 raised to the power 13 raised to the power 17 is 7 raised to the power of 3, which is equal to 3.